anything that I do, it all falls under the gym class umbrella. It makes makes the, the, the squad that much powerful, you know what I'm saying? So me putting out my last solo record, it was strange for me to look around and not see the rest of the guys, you know what I'm saying? But it was something I adjusted to, and uh, this time around, it's coming at them, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give them all I got. Yo, I think it's my confidence. I have a lot of confidence issues, so I'm still trying to figure it out, you know? When I first started performing, I nearly was like this. And now I'm like, hey, 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 So it's cool. Growth has been a big thing for me because I was making this album before, and a lot of things changed, and I had to take a step back and kind of take a look at my life. And I was like, what am I doing? Am I putting enough of my soul into my music? Truth it, I wasn't really. So this new music I'm making really is about growth. It's all a, um, something that, that just evolves, you know what I'm saying? The artist should evolve. Um, I was a kid when I started, and I always felt like I had to act like I was somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody told me, be yourself. <laughs> well, I am only 16, and I feel very blessed to have, you know, gotten the opportunity to do all these amazing things that I've always dreamed about. And there's definitely a lot of things on the checklist that I want to check off. But, I mean, I'm so young, and I'm still, you know, evolving. And I know that definitely in the future I want to still be in music. For me, it just comes down to, you know, me being myself. I'm an, my own artist, and I, I, I love to just travel and share my music with the world. Like. For me, I, I don't want to be just one of those kids. It's like, oh, remember that, that one guy you used to listen to when you were 13? Like, what happened? Like, no, I, I want my music to live on forever. Like, when I'm dead and gone, I want it to be like Michael Jackson status. Like, I want to be the best. Jingle Ball is a perfect growth this year. We've gone from just a couple markets with the brand to being a, a national uh, platform. Uh, people like Bobby Bones and, and The Breakfast Club growing those um, personalities. Well, I actually started out as an artist when I first moved to L.A. at 16, so, uh, you know, that's always been the goal, is to be an artist again, and I just knew that I needed to get some ammunition so I could have a story to come back as an artist again and compete, you know, and so I'm so psyched to be up on stage and connecting with the fans. That's really why I do what I do. I have grown a lot. Um, I really would have to say it's all pretty much due to my parents. I have obviously struggled with a bunch of different things. My life before 23, 24, my last arrest um, is like a life I don't even recognize anymore. Like I don't even know who that person is. You know what helped us grow a lot as a band was um, was really touring with all these all these amazing yeah. amazing artists. And you know you, you even you know people like oh you're opening up blah blah blah. But we took so much from 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 touring with these artists. You know it's so inspiring to be on tour with an artist like Pink. You know I mean where I mean Pink. New Paul, you know what I'm saying? So it's like this, yeah, yeah. Salutations, your boy Travi McCoy. We're New Politics. This is 70 Pratt. This is Ray Dalton. Hey, this is Bonnie McKee. It's your girl Becky G. It's yours truly, Jason Derulo. What's Austin Mahoney? This is Neon Hitch, and I am Revolt. Revolt. Revolt.